This is a short video on loving kindness and uh, I'm going to start just by opening up the topic in relationship to a traditional Buddhist meditation called the Metta Bhavana or as it's often translated uh, the development of loving kindness. Personally I like to uh, translate it as being for the welfare of beings. So in this uh, practice what happens is that there are five stages and the first stage has to do with contacting the being for your own welfare. The subsequent four stages is uh, inclusive of yourself but including others. So a being for the welfare of yourself and others. So I want to use this quality of being for welfare as a way of talking about qualities. Uh, it can be applied specifically to being for welfare but it can also be taken generally as well. So the basic premise in Buddhist meditation with regards to being for welfare is that each person, each individual, each being already has the quality of being for their welfare. They're being for healthy, being for happy, surviving, uh, developing and progressing perhaps. So in the first stage of the metta what happens is that you're actually being open to something which already exists, a quality which permeates you. And this quality is very subtle, is quite fine and in a way not obvious. So coming into it you need to be quite still, quite calm in your mind and quite open. So having done some uh, meditation on the breath or being present generally is very very helpful here. So you come into the sense of being for your welfare. You're being open to something which is for your being healthy. And I think this is a very good starting point with this quality because everyone really wants to be healthy and there might be ways in which uh, that has been lost or deviated from or forgotten but deep down we all want to be healthy and there are many things that we do all the time to express that quality of being for our welfare. Now I really like the, just using this one word for. It's very clear, it's very expressive and experiential. It's very different from being against or indifferent. So if I'm for my health I can actually feel it as a, a particular quality that's for drinking good water, brushing my teeth, eating good food, being in conditions that are healthy and, and, and stimulating to health. So in that way I'm tuning, by bringing these things to mind, I'm tuning in to the underlying quality that is here of being for my welfare, especially for my health. Now because it's quite subtle, quite fine and all pervasive, uh, it takes time. You have to kind of in a way let the mind stop making commentary. Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? Oh look, no it's not that. You have to in a way keep putting that aside and tuning in to uh, finer and more subtle qualities within your experience. So this process of coming into what's here is a very important part of a process. You come in, you notice, you go deeper into what's here, particularly 
by pointing yourself in the direction of being for. And you can use this word as a directive or a suggestion or as an invitation. Being for my health. For being well. And you drop that in and into your mind. And, and in doing so, you are pointing yourself in the direction of this quality of being for your health and welfare. And in that way, you come closer into the experience of it. And when you actually start to come into the quality of being for, you stay with it. You just let it be here, you stay with it, and your activity, you could say, is to keep yourself in it, keep your mind with it. This staying with is a very important part of how to relate to qualities. Now at a certain point the quality might develop and deepen and you stay with that process of deepening and enrichment. And this is more like a momentum. The quality has a momentum, a dynamic life of its own and you are in that dynamic progressive life of being for. It's expanding and it's deepening. Now in the Metta Bhavana practice one stretches this being for one's own welfare to include being for the welfare of others and this is what really makes it a uh, Metta or a sort of being for the welfare of all beings. I'd just like to finish by just recapping. To get in touch with this subtle or fine quality of being for your welfare, you need generally to be quite present and quite still and quite open. You need to keep letting go of commentary and especially of harsh judgment. Just keep letting it go and coming back into an openness to the quality of being for your health and welfare. And when you actually start to feel it, experience it, staying with it and following it moment to moment as it grows and develops.